All right, this is Frank DeMore. We're going to be moving on to other news for November the 8th. This is my second video today at the, at the uh, Last Chronicles YouTube channel. And uh, as I mentioned earlier in my first video, I gave red flag warnings. And uh, let me continue on here. We'll scroll down. We're going to pass what I already put up here. But one of the warnings that I gave yesterday, as you'll notice, as I put up this earth cracking open with these earthquakes. Of course, I have to always connect the prophecies first. And so let's go to Matthew 24, 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be, uh, there are, there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And of course, this means many places. All these are the beginnings of sorrows. And of course, in the Greek, that's birth pangs. So we know that these are a few of the signs that Jesus Christ told us to look for. And we're seeing those signs. And the birth pangs of those signs are getting more intense, as I've been saying in many of my posts. But yesterday, or as I wrote here, also in my post yesterday, November the 7th, 2012, and after I gave you information on the huge 7.4 quake that hit Guatemala, I told you, more quakes are coming, right? And in reference to these large quakes. Now, I've had up the red flag for these quakes for some time now because they're coming faster and faster. I haven't, at this point, taken the red flag down because I just had this impression we're going to be seeing more of these things coming quicker and quicker. And that's exactly what's happening. So, uh, from yesterday, when I gave the warning to watch some more of these quakes that will be coming, we saw another one. A huge quake of 6.3 quake is a very strong quake that hit Vancouver Island, the Canada region that you'll see here. So just the day after I told you the warning, we got another one. And I'm just going to keep telling you, if you're watching the news, uh, you're going to see a lot more of these quakes coming. Because as I said in my first video, the Lord didn't tell us to watch these things uh, <clears throat> because they, they weren't going to happen. He told us to watch these things because if we watched what he said to watch for, we would see him. And that's how we would know that his word is true and God is true. And that's exactly what we're going through now as we're watching the birth pangs continue. Now, along with the birth pangs, by the way, one of the signs that the Lord talked about was the roaring of the seas and the waves. These are the storms. And of course, you know that uh, one of those storms was sandy. But here's the scripture. It says, And there shall be signs of the sun and the moon and the stars, and upon the earth the stress of nations with perplexity to see and the waves roaring. Now in the first part of this, I gave you the signs of the this, this stars, these uh, what we believe that one of the scenarios for the big the lie that will be given that the people who don't know the Lord Jesus will fall for. Now, in this second half of the scripture, Luke 21, 25, we're talking about the huge storms. Now, we've been seeing some major, major problems in the United States. And I'm, I'm firmly believe that as I was talking about the curse of uh, in my first video today, let me scroll down here, that uh, Barack Obama has placed the United States under the curse because he's trying to divide Israel. He's trying to give back East Jerusalem, back to the Palestinians. And uh, of course, we know that that curse in Genesis 12, uh, 12, 2 is fallen on America. So, <clears throat> as well as Joel chapter 3, uh, verse uh, 3. So what we, what we see happening in the United States, well, we saw the United States get plummeled by Sandy. And, uh, of course, guess what? We got another one of these huge storms that have come on. And, of course, over the previous years, I've been telling you the storms are going to get a lot worse. They're going to come a lot quicker. And that's what we're seeing. All of this is based on what the Lord had told us about the birth pangs and the coming uh, the signs of distress because of the seas and the waves roaring. So here is a an article. Let me go right to the article so you can see what's going on. This is, uh, you know, they got the east coast of the United States got blasted with Sandy. Now look it. Here's the, the latest news here, and it's from The Blaze. And 
we saw this. It says the Northeastern bolstered into New York and New Jersey on Wednesday with rain and wet snow, plunging homes right back into the darkness, stopping commuter train or trains again, and inflicting another round. Here you go, another round of misery on thousands of people still reeling from the superstorm Sandy below more than a week ago. So this is the second one to hit in a very, very short period of time, and it's caused major, major problems for those poor people back on the East Coast of the United States. Under ordinary circumstances, a storm of this sort wouldn't be a big deal. But large swaths of the landscape were still an open wound with the electrical system highly fragile and many of Sandy's victims still mucking out of their homes and cars and shoveling in the and uh, shivering in the deep deepening cold. I mean if you don't have electricity like a lot of them still don't have and you're having these temperatures plunge like they are and the storm just rolling in into this area people are have uh, no heat and uh, you have dire conditions and of course Jesus said in that scripture complex problems and we're seeing these complex problems as a result of these storms so there's one of the articles that just show you the what's happening in relation to what the Lord had warned and everything that the Lord has said is coming to pass now here is a Another article, let me go down to this and you can see how the snow is coming. It says record snow, new power outrage, outages as storm slams the northeast. And so <clears throat> it does have a slideshow here, I believe, that if you wanted to go to a, uh, a different picture, just hit that once you get to the website. I'll have the link there for you. But if you look at here, I highlighted this already for you. It says... Uh, the residents across the Northeast woke up Thursday to more than 200,000 new power outages and a record early snow from the Northeastern that struck just 10 days after the Superstorm Sandy Battle of the region. We're right back to the same situation. So please take to heart what the Lord Jesus Christ has been saying to us because it is the truth and you need to understand that all of these things are happening in one generation our generation and that is what Jesus Christ said we should be looking for so here's another prophecy in Revelation chapter 13 Jesus tells us in the last day obviously one man is going to be able to control the entire world's economy and how is that going to happen well when you read the scriptures it says that uh, in we're seeing in the scriptures that this man will be able to control what you buy or sell. You're not going to be able to buy or sell anything unless you take this mark that Jesus shows us that will be put in the right hand here or in the forehead. So we know that the system is coming. We know also that the, the word of the Lord tells us that the Antichrist will be coming out of the revived Roman Empire which is already established and we know that the western part of the old Roman Empire is the current modern day European Union as you see the map here of the old Roman Empire and uh, so we know that the man will come out of this Roman Empire and he's going to be able to control everything right so that means something's going on with the economy something is going to filter down where we're going to have so many of these European nations who got together to form the European Union and all this information is in my book by the way that you can download for free at BibleProphecyMan.com today but we know that the economy is going to collapse something's going to happen and at the bottom line is at the result at the end result there's going to be ten toes and these are kings these are nations kings of these nations uh, within the European Union that will be giving over their power and their authority as it says in the book of Revelation they'll be giving it over to this one man who will rise up after these ten toes are established so in other words when you have the revised Roman Empire you're going to have some problems within the Roman Empire we see that taking place in prophecy you'll see this in Daniel chapter 2 verses 41 through 43 
And uh, the scriptures here tell us that they're not going to cleave together. They're not going to hold. They're going to be like clay, uh, iron and clay, that they don't mix. So we know that eventually what will happen, there will be a breakdown. Uh, oh, there will be a split, and then there will be ten who will hold together. And these ten, once they're established, and I don't think that they're that far off since the revived Roman Empire is already standing, and we're seeing directions now showing us that that's going to be the case, that there's going to be some major changes soon, as I'll be pointing out here. But anyway, the ten nations, or the ten kings of these ten nations, they will be standing, and then the little horn, as we read in the book of Daniel, will arise up, and then this little horn will be given all the power and authority from the ten. Right? So you understand what's going on. So what does that tell us? Well, look for what's going on in the European Union. And the, the old Roman Empire, we saw the legs in Daniel's vision and now the ten toes. The last world empire, which would be the revived Roman Empire. And we know that major problems are coming and guess what? They are definitely coming. So let's take a look at some of those articles and we see right here. The first one you see this is Angela Merkel who is the leader of Germany. It says EU to be federalized in the long run Merkel says. Now let me give you just the highlight of this because what's going on is the European Union is in problems. They're trying to get Greece out of debt because they're falling apart as well as problems with Spain, Portugal, and Italy. And so there's problems and they're thinking that if they can't come to some kind of agreement, then they're going to separate. Something's going to happen. And of course, this would go in the line to what we see from Daniel chapter 2, verses 41 through 43. Not holding together, not cleaving together. And so what they're doing is calling a federalization of all of the 27 nations. And what the federalization will end up being, obviously, will be the solidifying of the Antichrist kingdom. In other words, putting it together. And then the Antichrist can come out. But they're definitely on the road to doing exactly what the scripture says that they're going to be doing or how it's going to turn out with this revived Roman Empire. It says the EU Commission will eventually become a government. You understand that? This is what the Lord told us over 2,000 years ago before this revived Roman Empire was even established. So right there, you should just stop and say to yourself, man, oh man, I, I better consider what Jesus is telling me because this is not a coincidence, all right? It's not a coincidence. So the EU Commission will eventually become a government. The Council of the Member States, an upper chamber, and the European Parliament more powerful, but fixing the Eurozone, the Eurozone problems is more urgent for now, German Chancellor Angela Merkel told the MEPS on Wednesday. So when you scroll down and you read some more about the article here, You'll see, you'll see what they're talking about, the blueprints, they're trying to put this thing together. They're going to federalize, and not only that, I don't have this article up, but I did have it up, a, I think it was a week ago, and you can check this out, that now Tony Blair, the ex-Prime Minister of Great Britain, he stepped in and he's trying to get a complete vote, if you will. Let me go back to my site here. So what he wants to do, and I believe that they're going to be working in this direction because it's part of the federalizing. I don't think that they could do that without it. But Tony Blair has put a, a, a plan forward that all of the nations in the revived Roman Empire, the 27 nations, he wants them to vote for a president, a president that will be a super president. And I believe that we're seeing the developments of this vote actually becoming the little horn that will shoot out of the ten nations. At the at, when you come at the end of the day, that's what'll happen. So keep your eyes on for this massive vote that will be used to solidify the, all the nations coming together because they're having so many problems. They have to federalize because if they don't, they're going to fall apart. And this is what we're seeing. This is what the scripture tells us. And again, the bottom line is 10 of these kings uh, will be handing over all of their powers. So what's going on 
and the European Union is very, very critical, and it should raise flags uh, in your life to keep watch, because these are the things that the Lord wanted us to keep on watch for, since he told us about this in, in prophecy. So let me go down and get to a, another article here. We'll take this one, because this is talking about, again, the European Union. It's talking about the unemployment rate in Greece, which is one of the nations in the European Union. And, of course, this has been a problem. This country's been a problem, and uh, many think that uh, there will be a splitting off, and one of those countries will be Greece. And it's, that's really, really high unemployment. And what's happened is there's been rioting, and, of course, this article talks about the writing that was just uh, taken place yesterday. And it was, if you watch the news, you saw some of the writing and the, the fire bombing and so forth that were taking place. And this is not the only article about this. So you'll see here there's another article. Uh, it has to do with Greece. Passes austerity bill despite clashes. They're fighting uh, amongst themselves. Now... Please understand this. We know that this was coming because Jesus in Matthew chapter 24 uh, told us that kingdom would come against kingdom, civil unrest. We're seeing that happen. And, of course, in the scriptures, it didn't tell us exactly what the civil unrest would be or why it happened. But we who are living in this last day's time frame... We know now what's causing these nations to rise against themselves. And we saw from the Arab uprising, for example, it was the, the uh, condition of people not being able to afford food, the living conditions in the different countries. And it started like this, and it just snowballed into 17 Arab nations. And with the European Union, we're seeing the breakdown of the government, the breakdown of the banking system, and the, the complete debt that the nations are in. And, of course, it affects the individual citizens in these countries. And what happens is you have kingdom fighting against kingdom, exactly what Jesus Christ said was going to take place. Now, as they are going, when you read this article, when they're going in to pass this bill, you have on the eve of the vote, over 100,000 people took to the streets in Greece, the Greek capital. And so there's a lot of demonstrations that were going on, and I'm afraid you're going to see a lot more of this spread throughout Europe and different parts of the world, because this is what the Lord told us to watch for, and I'm hoping that you're, you're going to be paying a, you know, attention to uh, what the Lord says. So let me go on to another one here. Now, we have problems, <clears throat> obviously, when you have problems like this with your debt crisis and uh, austerity measures and the debt ratio uh, from the nation of Greece like this, it affects the domino effect in different countries. And so yesterday's news, we saw uh, the decline in the euro, as it says here in this uh, headline, euro weakens to two-month uh, low on Greece. So it says for the second day uh, and the euro slid after the European Union official said a decision on unlocking funds for Greece may not be made until late November. See, everybody's up in arms. They're afraid that they're not going to have the money. The, the people in Greece who are getting the handouts are afraid that the government's going to go broke and they're not going to be given any help. And their fears are being generated in Greece. And this is one of the reasons why you're seeing the people rise up against the government. Uh, and it's not just in the, United, in, the, uh, in the European Union. But believe me, when you start to see these things happen in the United States because the budget, uh, the deficit cannot be met. And they start cutting back. You're going to start seeing the same kind of riots that you saw in Greece and in many of the different European unions take place in the United States as people are, are afraid. They become fearful of not, how am I going to get food? How am I going to take care of the kids? They're so used to the handouts that they become helpless. They're like little babies depending on the government. And this is very, very scary. This is the direction Barack Obama is taking the United States. And we've seen the outcome of what happens 
in Europe and uh, we'll see more of this taking place so look at this this is the bottom line the Lord told us all these things were going to happen he showed us that the European Union revived Roman Empire would be here again we see that uh, all of this news runs exactly parallel to what the Lord said so it's not a coincidence and I mean all of the prophecies not just a few of the ones that I'm being posting right here but when you do a careful study of scripture and careful understanding of what the Lord wants us to look for you're seeing all of these things take place during one generation that matters ours now I invite you please please go to my website you'll see it right here there's the website just scroll down click to the book right here and read the documentation this is a, this is a docu documental a documentary book it is loaded with facts and evidence if you just tuned in to my youtube channel you never heard anything about what i've done please read the book because it will help you understand where not just the United States is going or the European Union but where you're going to be in Kenya what's going to happen to you in Libya what's going to happen to you in Israel what's going to happen in Africa and whatever country that you're in you're gonna see that that information is covered in my book so God bless you all and I'm praying that the Lord Jesus Christ would touch you today and that your name would be entered into the book of life. And the only way that that can happen is if you freely give your life over to Christ and ask him to be your savior. A good day to do it is today.